Hi everyone! I am Jaylene Shara D. Saragon, a proud educator from DepEd Kilbaik City National High School and one of the first batch of Wayground Super Trainer. You might remember this platform as Wizards. Yes, it is now called as Wayground. It is the same quiz-based learning tool many of us teachers love to use. But now, it's grown into something much bigger and better. It is called Wayground. So the name says it all. Way stands for solution and ground represents a playground for learning. It is a space where creativity meets classroom learning and in a truly fun and meaningful way. Okay, so I've been using Wayground for years now and I can honestly say that it transformed the way I teach. And for today's video, I will guide you through its key features, beginner's friendly tools, and how you can get started right away. Okay, so please watch and let's proceed to the video. Quizzes, which is now known as Wayground, is a gamified learning platform designed to support both teachers and students. It brings lessons to life using interactive content, game-like formats, and real-time feedback. From quizzes and story-based tasks to data tracking and differentiation, it is a complete digital toolkit for 21st century teaching. Now, let's proceed to its key feature. Let's look around at the first key areas of the Wayground. We have here the Explore. Discover a library of ready-made lessons from educators around the world. It will filter by grade level and topic. And of course, the topic you want to find inspiration fast. So you can just search any topic you like. For example, you want to search about scientific trivias or scientific method. It is all here. And in the library, this is your personal content hub. Every lesson you create, organize for easy access. So we can have here all the lessons you created, even your draft. All the things you have made for the even past few years. As you can see, I have here lessons from two years ago. It also have here your previously used lesson, the one shared with you, all your activities, collections, and themes. And we also have here reports. Reports helps you get instant feedback on students' performance. Of course, it can help you track progress, spot learning gaps, and make data-driven decisions with ease. So we have here the accuracy of the class, the class accuracy of all the tests you've made. And we also have here the ones that are still running, the one that is or that you have scheduled, the one that are already completed by the students, and of course, the quizzes or even the discussions you have paused. Next, we have here classes. Classes set up student groups and assign lessons with just a few clicks. Perfect for both in-person and online classroom. So you can have your class import or import a class from different um, applications here or different websites. We have the Google Classroom, Canva, Studio, Clever, Moodle, Microsoft Teams, Schoology, Classlink, Blackboard, and D2L Brightspace. And coming soon, we will have Manage Back or Manage BAC and School Backs. And you can also even create it manually. So you, you can create your class name and even have a color corresponding color for it. And you can have uh, require students to enter their guardian's email address so that automatically when they are finished with their test, the results will be sent to their parents' email. Next, we also have here accommodations. Accommodations help you assign different 
accommodations that your students need. For example, we have the basic accommodation in which automatically in your task assigned, there is a read aloud. You can give extra time for your question. Students can attempt as many accommodation you will create. And of course, you can also create deadline. We also have here question setting. You can reduce answer choices. Redemption question in which students could answer questions that they are wrong or they got wrong. We also have here the small scientific calculator your student can use during the conduct of the test. Desmos graphing calculator. You can also have here reading support in which it can translate to as many language as we have here. And take note, we also have here Filipino language that can help us Filipino teachers translate it to our students. We can even adjust the font size, have a bilingual dictionary, of course, adjust the font spacing, and we can also have notes to refer. We also have accommodation for learning environment. So don't show the leaderboard, turn off the sound effects, enhance display mode. And aside from that, if you need an accommodation that you think are still missing with what we have here already, you can request accommodation by just simply typing here all that you are still looking for and just send request accommodation. So this is good for students with dyslexia. Of course, students who need other accommodations. So you can just assign it to all your students or select it to students who mostly need accommodation. We also have Wayground AI. So you can add Wayground AI in your Google extension. So you can also get a certificate from this. So Wayground AI transform your existing resources into engaging activities so you can extract questions from worksheet or question bank you can create questions from youtube video create questions from documents create questions from website or online articles and if you don't have any resources you can create questions from topic prompt or excerpt and we also have here explore the ai toolkit in which it could help you make a lesson plan, a rubric generator, and so on. And so much more with that, it can also help you check your test. So let's now proceed to create. In create, it can help you make assessment, interactive video, flashcard, lesson, and passage. For assessment, review and practice questions to reflect on student understanding of concept. So we have here sample on this side and we also have interactive video make a synchronous assignment into active learning experiences. You also have flashcard in which it could boost memory retention ideal for in-class learning and practice with repetition. We can also create lessons in which teach new topic or skill to the whole class with interactive slide. So you can have your slide made from Microsoft PowerPoint or even from Canva, then you can have it here downloaded in our lesson so that you already have your template, your design, and so on. You also have a passage in which it will help students analyze text or media and improve comprehension skill. Now let's try to create an assessment. So in creating an assessment, it will have here an option for you to import worksheet or question. You can import from what you already have there from your document, Google Form, and spreadsheet. And we also have generate with AI. So you can generate from documents, website, text, excerpt, passages, or even from YouTube video. And we can also create from scratch. So from scratch, you can have question, different question types. So let's try this. So if you're going to create from scratch, you have here the option. We have different question type. We have multiple choice. So you have this side here to see what will happen in a multiple choice question. Of course, students will pick answer from A, B, C, and D. You also have passage in which students could read and understand a passage. Later on, they can answer a question from that passage. We also have fill in the blanks in where the students can check their spelling or remember the correct spelling by filling in the blank. 
We can also have interactive videos. So you can import videos from different websites, especially YouTube, because that is what is common. So from this interactive video, the quizzes will help you have a video pause for students to answer questions, testing their knowledge and understanding in real time. We also have interactive higher order thinking. We have the match. So they can revamp classic and ask students to match anything. So from different topics. We also have drag and drop. They will just simply jog and drop. So challenge students to think more critically by using drag and drop questions. We also have hotspot. So the students will click what they know or spot what they know whether it's identifying the different part of the body or the different topics you have. Also have categorization. So the students will have the chance to categorize concepts or ideas into items or appropriate groups. We also have reorder in which they could arrange words from smallest to largest and even largest to smallest with possible or endless possibilities. We also have drop and down in which they could upgrade fill in the blank with easy drop question. We could also have labeling in which students could drop and label pictures or medias. We also have open-ended responses in which they could draw and of course show their creativity they also we also have here video response so if the students are confident enough they can visually impress you or themselves by showing their answers via video response we also have a poll in which you could see what majority of the class understood or how they perceive your lesson we also have here open-ended in which Students can answer with endless possibilities up to 1,000 characters and AI could help, to help you actually check with this open-ended question. We also have audio response in which students could recite a poem, describe an image, or answer orally. We also have word cloud in which we can make icebreakers so we can have our lesson start up from this in which students could have some random words or any words they can think of from your topic. Of course, we cannot forget math. We also have here math response so they can respond question with numbers, operators, fractions, exponent, and more. And of course, we have the graphing in which students will have the opportunity to make graph. And other we have here a slide. So in this slide, it is like the Microsoft PowerPoint in which use your lessons to create an instructor-led experience. So as a teacher, you can have your lessons here. And at the same time, you can integrate questions, diff these different types of questions in your slide. Let's try to create a quiz with Wayground. Let's start with multiple choice type of question. Think and type the question about your specific topic. You can type answers manually or use generate with AI. Before you save a question, you can customize the point system, adjust the time limit for the question, and tag standards. You can customize the quiz name, subject, and suitable grade level. To make it easier for you, you can add similar questions with Wayground AI Actions here. It will help you generate questions in the same topic, fast, easy, and convenient. You can add as many questions as you like with the use of different question types. Let's try to make a reorder type of question. Then you can save questions if you're done. Now, if you are already satisfied with your number of items and questions, you can now click Publish. Then if you're ready to start the quiz, click Start Now or Assign. Here you can customize it to different session modes, Paper, Test, Team, Classic, Mastery Peak, Teacher Paste. After you customize everything, you can now start the quiz. There you have all of this, 
You can copy and paste the link to your group chat. Let the students enter the code manually or even let them scan the QR code, whatever is convenient for them and for you. Once your participants are already complete, you can now click Start. Then you'll have a preview of the leaderboard while you wait for them to finish answering. After that, you will be able to congratulate the top scorers. You can check the class accuracy and even see the items they got wrong. You also have the option to send the results to their parents for progress reporting. That ends our quick and easy tutorial. Okay, now let's go back. Let's have another amazing thing we have in quizzes aside from what I have discussed. In Explore, you can have assessment, lessons, interactive video, and passages. So let's go from each one so that you can see. Okay, so as you can see, the topics here is available in all different subjects. Also have passages. So this is one of the most amazing or what I really love. You can have an avatar here. So it's like you're playing a game at the same time, enjoying and answering activities and learning. We cannot forget the learning. So you can customize your qubits. So this is the qubit. This is my qubit. As you can see, it is pretty cute because I was able already to buy some clothes and accessories for her because I was able to answer quiz different quizzes and lessons so you can pick you can buy so you need to really work hard for you to earn these coins and with that coin you can use that in purchasing your different accessories from from this accessories to different bows or clips from shoes to your dresses shorts from your clothes from your headdress and even your hair actually hairstyle is for free even your hair color and you could also choose your skin tone and your expression but as you can see you need also to buy expression so you need to work hard how do you do this you can just simply click this plus so you have here, this is my quiz. Uh, this is the quiz I have already completed or are still running. So as you complete these quizzes, you will earn coins along the way. So I have here my completed quiz as you can see. And I have also here the one I have created in which your students could play. So this is what you have in your library. The one you have made. So your students can answer this so that they can also customize their cupid. So simply it is so easy and very convenient for us teacher. By the way, on a daily basis you can also earn from your cubits. So right now I will be earning 100. So I already have here 416. I can go to the shop and scroll again, check if I could buy or I could afford something from here as you can see we have here this yellow or gold boxes indicating that this is what we can only afford so now I'm still saving for something like for this one this one I'm saving for this so it will still cost me a lot okay so we have this one we can go back to my dashboard so as you can see, quizzes is very easy to use and convenient for us teacher. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. As one of the Wayground Super Trainer, I am excited to help fellow teacher discover how fun, flexible, and powerful this tool can be. If you haven't tried it yet, now is your time to jump in, explore, and start transforming your lessons today with Wayground. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials and feel free to share this with your fellow teachers. Happy teaching everyone with the Wayground!